and welcome to this year's Christmas Decorate With Me 2023. I love decorating with traditional colors, reds, greens, and some whites for snow. If you are a fan of a traditional Christmas with those warm and cozy feelings, this video is gonna be for you. It's full of inspiration, ideas, and everything to hopefully get you into the Christmas spirit. So let's get started. First things first, I got all of our Christmas decor out. I like to take absolutely everything out and organize it on my dining room table. And as I take things out, I always try my best to group things together that I think are going to go in the same room. So for today's video, I am focusing on our fireplace and our coffee bar, which is our hot cocoa bar during the winter months. So as I take things out, I'm grouping whatever I think are going to go into those areas together. We will also be doing our kitchen and a few other areas in our house, but this is just part one of my Christmas Decorate With Me, so definitely make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you know as soon as part two is up. But I have all of my fall decor down. Our house looks so empty, but it is not going to look that way for very long. I'm actually going to start here on our fireplace. So I have lots of layers on our fireplace. The first layer is going to be these snowflakes, and I'm going to put these on the top, attach them with these command hooks, which are my best friend during this time of year. I am originally from Michigan, so we used to go visit my family up there all the time when I was a kid for Christmas, and most of the time we had a beautiful white Christmas. So that is what I am used to around this time of year, but now we live in Florida and we don't get any snow, so I love bringing it inside with my decor. So I made these last year and they look like snow falling and I think they're absolutely adorable. They were so easy to make, but it's just fishing line attached to a little command hook. I used hot glue to attach it and then I used hot glue to attach cotton balls. I threaded them through with a needle through each cotton ball. I tried to make some bigger, some smaller, and I think they are just so fun. They are a little tedious to make, but it's something you could definitely do while sitting in front of the TV and watching your favorite Christmas movie or show and I was able to save them again to use this year so I'm sure I'm going to be using these for a long time coming. So I'm using a little grabbing hook to attach them to the ceiling because I don't like going all the way up to the top on my ladder. I'm slightly scared of heights. I go pretty big on our mantle. So this piece of garland I got from Walmart and they sold out of this garland so quickly last year. I actually have not been into Walmart this year to see what they have or if they have this garland again, but I really hope they do because it was only like $10 and it's absolutely gorgeous. These picks I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just draping them over the side here. I love getting picks from Hobby Lobby. These ones are also from there. There are so many different ways you can use picks, but I'm just using this to fluff up the corner of our fireplace here. I love the look of the garland just flowing over the side of the fireplace. I'm also going to be putting some stockings on the other side, on the right side of the fireplace. So overall, it really gives it a nice balanced look. I have quite a few of these small little trees covered in snow. So I'm putting those all around this mantle. And then I have a little sign that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And this is just like a, one of those $5 signs from Target. And I think it is just so simple and so cute. Next, I'm just gonna be adding a few icicles to the bottom of this garland. These are from the dollar store. I have two small kids running around, okay? So these are plastic, so I'm not worried about them breaking. And I also want to put some stockings here. So normally I would use these heavy duty like stocking holders, but I'm worried they're going to pull on them and it's going to fall on their face. So I'm using my best friend again, my command hooks to hang all of these stockings. And I'm going to share with you the easiest way to elevate your stocking decor. Just grab a pick. This one's from Hobby Lobby and put it inside the stocking. It really just makes it pop and look, in my opinion, very professionally decorated, but it's literally the easiest addition ever.
We are moving on to our coffee bar. This year I took a little shortcut. I didn't freehand my chalk drawing. I used my projector so that I could get a brief outline on everything and then filled it all in after. This saved so much time. Whenever I'm like freehanding any chalk drawings, I always have a hard time getting things to be symmetrical. So there's a lot of erasing and redoing things. So this just cut the time in half for me. I will share a link to this picture. I found it on Pinterest, so there will be a link for it in the description of this video if you are looking for a reference picture as well. And if you're not very good at drawing, definitely get a projector and try doing this yourself. The chalk drawing is done now and I brought over all the decor that I think I'm going to use over here. This is our hot cocoa bar in the winter. It's generally our coffee bar, but I love putting a little hot cocoa station here. I make it feel like it's in a log cabin. That's kind of the feel I'm going for is I'm just sitting inside a log cabin. It's snowing outside and I can just sip on my hot cocoa. I got these picks from Hobby Lobby this year. I decided to use them all around the garland here. I was trying to decide how filled in I wanted to make this garland because I could cover it with ribbon. I could cover it with more picks. I could really fill it in, but then I wouldn't really have that greenery and I'm going for that log cabin feel like I want the evergreens around me so I didn't fill it in quite as much as I probably could have but I think it was a really good balance. I also got these little holly picks from Hobby Lobby this year as well and I'm just using that to fill in the rest of the areas. And I really think these picks were a super simple and easy addition to my decor this year. We are gonna move on to the hot cocoa station, my favorite area. I got this runner from Hobby Lobby, which if you have not caught on yet, that is my favorite place to shop for Christmas decor. This cutting board I have just with my regular cutting boards, but I like to use it as the basically table for my hot cocoa station, that hot cocoa sign I got from Hobby Lobby. And I am starting with some marshmallows, of course, and some peppermints. I'm putting some chocolate chips in another container, as well as some white chocolate chips. Basically anything I can add to our hot cocoa to make it even more delicious. It's also so much better with some chocolate wafers. Those things are so addicting. And I'm filling some smaller glasses with some sprinkles. I got all of these glasses from Hobby Lobby. They're in their regular craft section and they do go on sale sometimes. I love final touches and little details. So I'm gonna use this red and white ribbon around each of these glasses and tie a little bow on each of them. It's just gonna give it that final touch that just looks absolutely adorable. I got these little serving wooden spoons from Hobby Lobby. It's in their party section. And of course we cannot forget the hot cocoa. I have this little basket in the shape of a sleigh that fits them perfectly. Now I'm going to be decorating my tiered tray. I am obsessed with really filling in tiered trays. I think it's so fun to play with decor until it looks good. This tiered tray I'm going to be filling in with different decor pieces that have to do with hot chocolate and of course peppermints and some of my favorite mugs. I've realized though that now that I've used these mugs in my tiered tray, I cannot actually drink from them. Or at least it makes it a lot more difficult because I filled them with some decor pieces. So I'd have to clean them out every single time. So now I have a really good excuse to go out and find a few more mugs. Tiered trays can definitely be very tricky to decorate, but my biggest tip is just to keep moving things around 
until it looks good. Can't tell here, but I did redo this tray at least two or three times before I got this like final shot. Just have a few more touches to this area before we move on, but I'm bringing over my coffee maker and I'm just adding a few final touches to our coffee jar. I just drew a little candy cane on the chalkboard area and I'm tying more of that ribbon to the top of it for just those final little details that I love so much. So on the top here, I'm actually going to add a few more signs. They're all those reds and whites to match all of those peppermint candies. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Moving on to our kitchen area, and I'm doing the least glorious part of Christmas decorating, and that is fluffing all of the garland. I like putting this on top of our cabinets. I think it's an easy way to just draw your eye up. It's also just like such a simple addition to the kitchen, but makes such a big impact. I also love that it's out of the way. I don't like having a lot of decor in our kitchen because I do cook in here a lot and I just don't like to have that decor in the way as I'm cooking. So just this addition to the top of our cabinets and just below my countertop here is my favorite thing to add for Christmas decor. So to hang them, I'm actually using command hooks. I leave them up here year round. So once they are sticking there, I keep them there. And some do pop off, especially there underneath the cabinet because my kids like to play with them. But anyway, I'm hanging a wreath on top here and I love the look of the ribbon hanging down the center, that big chunky ribbon, but I still like to open my cabinet. So here I just used a command hook to hang it from the piece and then I have some wired ribbon on the top to make it look like it is hanging from the cabinet. But I won't have any issues opening or closing that cabinet. Now we're going to put together a really quick and simple centerpiece. All of this is from Hobby Lobby. All these picks are from Hobby Lobby. I did bring over these that had these pieces for a while, but I didn't actually end up using them. So while I was in Hobby Lobby, I already figured out how I wanted to put together this centerpiece. So I'm just quickly throwing all those picks together and I'm going to put them inside the picture. I actually got this picture and that cutting board from Hobby Lobby for fall and used it for a fall centerpiece. So I love how versatile this centerpiece can be. You could probably do it for any season. So everything always looks better in groups of three, or in this case, I decided to do just the picture and the centerpiece. Now I just have a few extra touches around our kitchen. I really like to keep things nice and simple in here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up for me. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it every single time someone hits that button. And this is just part one. So if you want to see more rooms, more areas of our house get decorated, definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new. And if part two is already out, I will make sure it is right here. <laughs>